Hello everyone, welcome to another MMORPG devlog slash tutorial and I'm sorry because I'm not being uh, very active here posting this video. This week is a little bit of a busy week, uh, I've, I've been working on stuff but here I am and this, this one is gonna be a quick video. So uh, in the last videos we kind of finished everything that we needed um, when it comes to logic, when it comes to the server side and the client side and now it's finally time to start doing like the, the 3D part. So I'm here with UpBG, open it, and uh, two things here, two very important things for those who are following and who cares. Uh, and by the way, this one, this video is going to be a little bit quick because, again, I'm in a hurry. But um, many people, and I actually asked in the community tab of the YouTube, like, can I, do I use my game engine, Unity engine, no, that I actually rename it, but I can't say the new name just yet. Wait for it, it's amazing. Uh, should I use my own, my own game engine to make the MMORPG? And almost everyone said, yes, for sure. And I agree with that, but there's a problem. I don't, as I said in the beginning of the series, I don't know how many time I will, I will be working in this specific project. So I may finish this like today, I may finish in a week, in a month, or even like in a year or two year, two years. I don't want to uh, put any pressure on that, okay? I may finish this like faster than you imagine because I don't know, <laughs> but still, I don't want to work in a project uh, at this moment in the engine that I don't know when I'm gonna finish because um, right now, if you don't know, if you're, if you're not following the Game Agent series, uh, I'm I'm in the road to release the 1.0 that are gonna be the first open version of the Game Agent. And as I say almost every time, uh, before 1.0, I may break compatibility between different versions a lot. So if I have a project right now in the engine and I keep working in this project for years, I will probably uh, gonna have to make um, to keep it backwards compa compatible because of that. And this is definitely something that I don't want to do until 1.0 because again, it's not released uh, officially yet. So I wanna take this time to polish stuff, to change stuff. That's why I'm not gonna use uh, my engine just yet. But don't worry, expect more projects about that later on. So I'm here with Blender and the other stuff that I'd like to talk here before we go ahead and create stuff is like uh, I'm thinking to start doing a little bit more edited uh, videos for this series because again in the beginning I wanted to do like a tutorial, a tutorial series like really step by step of what I'm doing but now since I'm using Blender already and I'm creating like models and doing like general game dev stuff this is something that I, there's a lot of tutorials out that, so I kind of, uh, I'm kind of thinking like it, it's okay to miss this, to time lapse it, and just voice over it, and you know, leave in the comments what you think. Because again, and, and maybe I'm not gonna post every day, so I'm gonna work. I will still work like almost every day, but uh, do a video a week, compilating every day, all days, because it's a little bit pleasant. To, to watch, I don't know, leave in the comments. But anyways, let's uh, start doing the today's work. And today's work is a little bit simple. Uh, when I start any project in Blender, I do have a default uh, startup file. So I have a .blend file, and if you don't know Blender, uh, .blend is like the file extension of the project that have a bunch of stuff already set up for you because uh, Blender do not have, and this is a little bit of a pain, I know, but it do not have like a native UI support. So you do have to do it yourself. So I, I, I like to start my projects with this template that have a bunch of startup code. It's not very complex. There's not uh, any, many things going on, but if you press P to start a project, you have like a basic menu with language selection. So I can do Portuguese stuff and English stuff. I have a credits and of course a new game that I can go ahead and have this basic new game with some dialogues. Very simple. That's basically everything. Oh, another stuff as well. I can pause the game. This is something that you. It, this is something that it's not possible in a MMORPG. But anyways, this is a startup project, so I'm gonna start with this and. What I'm gonna do here in this video, again, this, this video is gonna be a little bit quicker than the usual, uh, is that I will set up, I don't wanna have like a menu, but I will leave it, I will leave every menu, menu here, but I'd like to set up a connection menu uh, 
to say, hey, you are connecting to the server, wait a second, okay? And then a login menu and a create an account menu with, with the buttons and, and, and so on, okay? So that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. So for the main menu, I will create like a connection text. It's very simple and because my my startup file do have like different multiple idioms i have to put here like connecting in english so by the way you're gonna learn portuguese in this series <laughs> connecting and in portuguese is like conectando very similar okay so this is going to translate the text automatically for me and I'd like to do like a scrolling bar. Not a scrolling bar, I don't know the name of this, but anyways. So I'm gonna do like a basic empty with this. Then I'm gonna create two different materials to it. So this is material one, and then material two. We're gonna be something like that. The buff you're gonna have no color, no shading. But this one is gonna be a little bit darker. And then I just need to make this rotate. And in Blender, if you know if you don't know Blender, Blender is like scriptable in Python. That's one of the reasons I'm using it. My game engine is also scriptable in Python. So that's okay. This is a logic bricks. So I have a sensor, uh, the stuff like that happens in the world. I, in this case, I have an, an always sensor, in other words, always active. And then I have an actuator, like a motion, so I'm do motion. And then I can like rotate this object on the Z axis. If I start a game, should be able to see uh, connecting stuff here, hopefully. I think this is inverted, by the way. Let me flip the normals and parent this to this object. Here you go, it's connecting. Rotating very slowly, but it is rotating. Let me put negative five. And I have here a connecting bar, okay? Very simple. And why it's not translating my text? Oh, because I forgot to change this to a title. Here you go. It's white, it's a little bit annoying. We're not gonna worry about the background, not just, uh, not yet, okay? But here we go, we have the first uh, menu that we need to do, okay, in order to make the game. That is the connecting. If you remember, we do have like the, the, that step that you connect to the server and then you validate the stuff. So this is the step, this is the first step, connect to the server. So we have this and a text uh, saying connecting. It's all good. Uh, it doesn't need to be perfect. Let me actually align that to the right. So it's going to be a little bit better. And you have a, a connecting screen, okay? Again, it doesn't need to be perfect. I can actually do like a black screen if I want here. And parent this to the object. Let me do it. So we're going to create another material and make it almost black. So we're not going to be able to see the background of the main menu. So I have a connecting uh, state. Very simple. And I don't like this not being centralized. So we're going to centralize it. So I have a connecting state. This is the first one. There's nothing uh, happening just yet, but it will happen very soon. And the other stuff that I'd like to do, let me actually remove this parent. Like, let me clear parent and transport. I, I don't want to see the background. The other um, screen that we need to do is, let me actually duplicate that. And I'm gonna have to duplicate this text here. The other screen that I have to do is a login screen, okay? Um, and what are you gonna do here? Let me think a little bit. Let me put the name here, log in. So you have, you're probably gonna have two buttons in the login uh, menu. The first one, I'm gonna say, hey, 
let's log in actually let's let's actually log in and the second one are gonna be our create an account okay and let me do it so I'm gonna duplicate this button that is saying back but just for now I don't remember the spacing between the buttons and this one that's why you need to duplicate the text in blender it's a little bit annoying you're gonna be create account and this one you're gonna be logging and again I need to put translation why why do you need to put translations because I want to have like different idioms okay and then I'm gonna have to create account that are gonna be create account and of course in Portuguese that is criar conta <laughs> in Portuguese uh, I do have this as well this is a really regular text let me promote promote this to uh, a title and create an account I'm gonna uh, this needs to be oops I need to name the menu so this menu is credits I need to rename it to connecting it's the initial menu this one is gonna be the login so let me name it to login and create an account we're gonna basically change menu to create the login we're gonna call a function call it um, log in and I need to add this that are gonna do nothing for now so I'll just pass this function does nothing so this button does nothing no logic here and of course what is missing here when what I need to add is basically the fields to type the, the text and so on so this is not gonna be a button so I'll just delete this and I'm gonna change the material to a white one I think it's okay and the text I'm gonna change to a dark one so I want to have like a black material it's actually the object color by the way I mean just put a material so it's easier for us to see what's going on so I have like a log e stuff I actually renamed this to user name and I'll duplicate this code to create the password Okay, so this is basically the log in uh, screen. It's very simple, very straightforward. Username, password, and a log in uh, button. I also have to create an account uh, button as well if you want to. So everything seems correct now. I have logging. It's a little bit weird, but we're gonna change that. Don't worry. So I have this, those fields here, uh, ready to go. Question here is how to type on this field, and this is very important. Uh, people don't realize that. But it's very easy to do it, uh, this in Blender. You just need to do a sensor called keyboard with all keys, and then uh, you have like a text game property. And uh, a can type variable that is basically a Boolean. And the log toggle is can type, and the target is the text. And with this in Blender, you can type this. Okay. Let me rename this to log in username this is going to be the log in password the password is going to be a little bit different and it's going to require a little bit of a script but let me copy the uh, let me copy this so we're going to have a text property and then a boolean can type that is a boolean and then the password that is a string and then i'm going to do a text with all keys enabled log togo is can type and the target is the password and then what I'm gonna do um, is mm, I don't want to have a text game property but I'm gonna have I, I will add a component to it so let me create a new component here in blender called uh, password display so let me create a new component a new Python component that you basically in the update method grab my password so p equals to self dot object password and I'm gonna do self dot object dot text you're gonna be this symbol here multiply it by the length of p so I'm gonna have a symbol for every character in the password 
Okay, very simple, very simple. And by the way, for instance, just to showcase that, I'm gonna activate the cam type in both. And if I type something, here you go, you can see here that it's working. And I have shortcuts, that's why uh, this thing got crazy. And what I can, what I'm gonna do right now is select this object and this username and add some logic on it. So if I click here, so mouse, if my mouse is over the, the button, and I left click with the mouse. So here's the left button. I gotta set the login username properly. Can type to true. So I enable the typing. If I click on the button. But if I click outside the button, then I'm gonna disable. It's basically like that. Just like that, very simple, okay? And I'm gonna have to do the same logic here for this one. So I can't type anything. I'm actually making like a default password. If self dot object, if p is equal to nothing, self dot object dot text is gonna be password. I'm just doing like making you type password here. So if I type something, I'm gonna have this. If I click somewhere else, I can't type. If I click here in the username, here you go, I can't type it. So now I can type my password and my username. Very simple, okay? And if I click somewhere else, it's not gonna work. So that's it. And the last thing that we're gonna do here in this video is duplicate this logic. So I'm gonna have to duplicate everything. So let me out D this. And now, if everything goes right, oh, I need to change this text as well. Now, my I have this menu that are gonna allow me to type a username, very quick, a password, and an email address here. And I can create, that are gonna do nothing. And of course I can back to log in, and I do have my log in stuff, and I can log in, or go back to the create. So this is basically the flow that we want. We have like this log in menu, and we also have the create an account menu, okay? So in the next video, you're gonna be able to uh, make this thing work together to have like, again, the initial scene is the connecting and once this is connected you're gonna send the user to one of those two menus that you just saw here i have like the create an account menu and the login menu okay very simple um so in the next video the work that you're gonna have to do is connect this is make this actually something that you're gonna work okay so i'll leave that that for the next video again this video is a little bit shorter than usual but i hope you enjoy it and if you're not subscribed please subscribe it and i see you in the next video